you've turned the corner on defense and, and have really kind of got this thing going these like last couple games? Repeat it. I didn't hear you. Yeah. Do you feel like you've turned the corner on defense? Uh, yeah. I mean, focus on the details, you know. Like you guys say, uh, my tackling was all terrible, but I mean, it wasn't. I just missed a couple. It's football. Everybody missed tackles. But I just played within the defense and just got my mojo back and just do what I had to do. As a whole, though, as a group, the defense in general, you guys think you've kind of come together since the first couple of games, kind of found your, your, your identity and your rhythm? Yeah, it took us probably, like I said, the first game, we had to see, like, get a feel for young guys and stuff like that. But overall, we've been playing good, high tempo, high level. We just got to keep eating, just keep getting offense back to the ball and let them do what they do. And with those young guys, uh, Juwan Taylor got, got his first start on Saturday, got an interception. Just what was it like watching him and what's it like playing back there with him? Uh, I was confident in him from the jump. You know, it was just got to wait your turn. And then when, he, when his turn was presented to him, he did what he had to do. So I'm glad. I'm proud of him. I'm glad he uh, got his first interception of his career and many more to come. Uh, what have you seen from him in practice throughout the last few weeks or whatnot that basically showed that he was ready to go, ready to take on the starting job? Um, He's more vocal, you know. He's always, he's always been vocal, but you know, just knowing that he got to play in front of ninety thousand, he's got to be, and he did what he had to do: go in, communicate, let everybody know the calls, and just do what he had to do. It's been said that going into a bye week, coming off, coming off a loss, is, makes that loss much more difficult. Do you agree with that, or is it kind of easier to let it go? Uh, you gotta just move on. Next game, uh, just focusing on us now for the bye week, you know. Uh, going in, just prepping for Georgia uh, offense and defense, knowing personnel, knowing what they do, like they do, what they like to do best, knowing their weaknesses, and just go execute it in practice for the next two weeks. Georgia, and on the, you guys are three and three at the halfway mark. You guys, well, how would you evaluate the season to this point, and what do you think you guys can do to try to get to the next level and start getting back in the win column? Um, we just keep playing our game. You know, we haven't really done anything outside our box. You know, a lot of guys. I always say, oh, you're three and three, this and that. But you got to think about it. those games we lost. It was close games. Everybody played. Everybody did their job. It just didn't fall on our ball. And you know, like I said, Coach Master, we didn't lose the game because, you know, we, we were a better team. We just beat ourselves and we just didn't execute on the times we had to. That's it. Given where the season's at, how big is this Georgia game? Uh, it's always big. It's Florida, Georgia. You just got to continue to play football. You know, we can't think about. Uh, the past, can't think about what's, what's going to be there. We got to just go out there and just take it play by play, step by step, and just do what we got to do and win this game.